Konnichiwa. Welcome to my tutorial on learning Japanese. Uh, basically, I'm going to be um, summarizing and kind of rehashing everything I learn in my classes for you guys on the internet for free. So, yeah, get ready to learn some Japanese. To start with, oh, sorry. <clears throat> to start with, we're going to need to learn the alphabet. Just like how you need to learn the alphabet for English in order to understand and read and write, you're going to need to know the alphabet in Japanese. The tricky thing about this is that, in fact, there are three alphabets. The first one is called Hiragana, so Hiragana, which is primarily used for Japanese words um, like sushi and uh, wasabi, stuff like that. Uh, then we've got katakana, which is used for foreign words, um, foreign words, foreign names. So, like the name America or Canada. Uh, that's exactly pretty much what they'd be using those for. And then the last one, they've got kanji, which is derived from the Chinese kanji. Uh, and that one that just comes with practice. The more you learn and the more you read, the more you'll you'll get and understand. So let's let's start out with learning hiragana. So to start off with, we need to know a few things about how hiragana works. First, well, let's let's resize this. We've got uh, we've got uh, each of the vowels on all the sounds. So we got a. I, U, E, and O, which makes the sounds A, I, U, E, and O. So kind of like, ah, now I understand. Okay, that kind of A, ah, or ah, that that kind. E sounds like the letter E. Yeah, I is E. That is very fun. Kind of like the E and easy. Like, learning Japanese is so easy. E. Ooh, as in, ooh, you're right. Learning Japanese is easy. So yeah, uh, we'd, we'd be using the ooh sound. Uh, yeah, how do I get this off? There we go. Eh. Eh. So yeah, that is the E sound. Eh. Like a eh. Meh. Yep, that meme. Meh. That's that's E. In Japanese, eh. And finally, O. Oh. Basically, you're just saying O. Oh. Lo, ho, 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 ho. That, that's, that's the O you want to be using. And the consonants that go with it are R, Y, M, H, N, T, S, and K. As well as a blank one for each of these vowels to be on their own. So for example, H mixed with a U, actually that's probably a bad example. Okay, H mixed with A, so be HA. N mixed with A, NA. T mixed with A, TA. You get, you get my point. There's obviously exceptions to all of these rules, but that can, that can be uh, addressed later. Let's get rid of all these. How do I get rid of all these? All right. What the? Okay. Okay. Problems aside. Mm -hmm. Let's start with learning how to actually draw each of these letters, and we'll start with the vowels by themselves. Ah. You start by 
drawing kind of a cross thing like so. Next, you start about in the middle and you draw down like so. And for our final one, you take just about here, about halfway, and you kind of go down, swirl, like that. I know mine looks really bad because I'm using paint, and I'm sure if you've drawn it in paper, yours is going to look amazing. So if you got something that looks like this, congratulations, you've just learned your first Japanese letter. Next, we'll learn E. So what we got to do is we got to make a bit of a hook, like so, and there we go. A hook and then a stroke. That is E. So now we've learned two. I'll put the, the letters up. Ooh. Maybe I won't. So there we go. I'll put the letters up here just for your, your guys' reference. So we got A, ah, kind of, E. Now let's look at U. Starts with a bit of a hook, like so, and up and down. If you drew a face here, it would look like a guy pulling something. So that would be U. Just put that up here. Now for A. Again with the hook. Hook on top, up, down, and then we come up a bit and there we go. Eh. Ah. Yeah, I probably won't be doing this for all of them. There we go. But the more you practice, the better you'll get at these. And now for O. We start similar to A, or A. Across, across like that, and then we go down. But instead of ending it, we then make a curl here, and out, like so. It, it kind of looks like A, oops, but it's not the same. And to finish it off, we add in a bit of a hook right here. This is O. A, I, U, E, O. Practice these a couple of times on your own, just to get a feel for it. Alright. Yeah! Okay. Now that you've uh, gotten a chance to do that and saw me screw up, let's move on to the K's. So. Ka, ki, ku, ke, ko. Say it with me. Ka, ki, ku, ke, ko. So we'll start with ka. We start by drawing kind of a down and a hook like that. And then another stroke just down like that. And then we finish off with about a stroke and kind of a hook ending right there. Ka. Now for key. So we're going to draw one line, two lines, and then down, and kind of end it right there, kind of a down and check, and then finish by stroking down like this. In uh, When you type it out, all of this will be continuous. But this is the handwritten style. So it's, it's best to learn this style first and then just know how to read a typed style. So, key. It kind of looks like a key almost. Ku. This is probably one of the easiest. Boom. Ku. It's, it's a less than sign. Yeah. Ku. Kind of looks like Pac Man or Kukutu or whatever. K. So, we start here, 
And um, let me see here. Looking at the stroke order, we start by going down and kind of doing a hook there. Next, we do a cross. And finally, a stroke down. That is K. K. Uh, a man with a cane. K. And our final one, Ko. So we do a top part and a hook. They love the hooks. And a stroke underneath. Ko. I mean, if we added a few things here, it would look like a coin. Ko. Coin. Ko. Now, Say it with me. Ka, ki, ku, ke, ko. Let's let's do a quick uh, test. Do you remember what this character is? If you answered u, you are correct. So let's keep moving. S S is sa, she. Su, se, so. There's a slight variation. It's not si, it's she. You'll have to keep that in mind. But more on that in a bit. For sa, we start with a, a line across, and then down, and hook. Just kind of like with key, except with only one. And then we finish off like that. If you can kind of squint, can see a face here, like he's about to drink, I don't know, sake or something else. Sa. Now for she. It kind of looks like a bit of a fish hook, like so. Now this is not pronounced si, it's pronounced she. She. This is she, as in, she has nice hair. Okay, time for Sue. Another cross. We're getting used to these now. And a loop-de-loop, -loop and in. Sue. You're going to want to make this a little bit more seamless. Kind of looks like a man swimming. Sue. So cross, down, curl, and finish your stroke. Se. So we go up like this, another cross. And then we go down on the right side and hook. And then down on the left side, and there we go. Down and across. Kind of looks like a sombrero from Senor Garcia. Se, senor. There we go. Se. And then so. We start with a stroke like so. Stroke across, up, and down like so. In the printed version, it kind of looks like looks like this. They're attached. So this is the handwritten version. And if you're going to write it out by hand, this is what you should write. But it's good to know that this is how it's typed out. And I mean, this character is so squiggly, that's how you can remember it. So, it's the one that's so squiggly. <clears throat> so, same with me. Sa, she, su, se, so. Okay, now for the T's. Ta, chi. Again, it's a little different. Tsu. Again, a, a different one. Te, to. Okay, say it with me now. Ta, chi, tsu, te, to. Okay, so let's start writing them out. So, for starters, another across, surprise, surprise, and down. 
Now, we do one across like so, and down. Kind of looks like the ko one right here. So this is ta. I mean, if if we added a few things here, it would look like it forms the letters T and A. Ta. It's right there in front of you. Ta. Across, down, and then write ko right beside it, pretty much. Okay. Chi. Want to guess what our first stroke is? Surprise, surprise, it's another across. But this time we're going backwards. We're going to have it going out like so. Kind of looks like the wheelchair sign almost. Anyway, chi. It kind of looks like a cheerleader. If we added like a head here and some toes here, they're like cheering. Cha 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 chi 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 there you go, chi. Su. Again, this is actually a very easy one. We kind of go out and down. That's essentially what it is. Like maybe something a little bit like this kind of thing. And maybe this is a little shorter. But yeah, this is su. Ta, chi, su. Okay. Te. Across. And hook and down. Looks kind of like a table if we add like another one right here. It's a table. Te. Table. Te. And finally, to. We do one down. And kind of a hook like this. And there's like a, a thorn in like the big toe. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there's a there's a thorn in your toe. Toe. Okay, now just to review. Ta, chi, tsu, te, to. What's this letter called? Or character? That's right. It's she. As in she's got some nice curls. Okay, moving on to the ends. Na, ni, nu, ne, and no. So, want to guess what our first stroke is? That's right, across and down. And we're going to do kind of like a hook here kind of thing. And instead, we're going to kind of go down and curl, like so. Na. Nah, I don't think so. But it actually is na. Nah. So cross, down, hook, spin. Write this out a few times just to get it down. Now for knee. Want to guess what our first stroke is? Hey, if you guessed cross, you're wrong. We're actually going straight down. And hook at the end. And then across. And then down. Ni. We are the knights who say ni. 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 Yep. The knights who say ni, this is their character. Ni. So just down and hook. Kind of across. And kind of a stroke down and across. Ni. Yep. Hang on. Okay some technical difficulties there. New. Yeah, as in, as in like the same thing in the Monty Python, the guy who couldn't say knee right. New. New. Okay, so one down like so. And another. Down. And then we're going to continue. Across. And over. And hook. Like so. There you go. It kind of looks like chopsticks with like a bunch of noodles. New, new. Ni. <laughs> okay, now for ne. Want to get to the first stroke? Yeah, that's right. We're gonna go down this time. And now we're gonna kind of skip across, and then down, and then 
we're going to go up and down and another spin ne down cross and a spin kind of looks like a fishing net if you put like things here it's a fishing net and finally no we're gonna go down and boom well kind of let me just do that a little bit better kind of looks like a no smoking sign no no you don't smoke no ni okay now same with me na ni nu ne and no okay time for another review can you guess what this character is I'll give you three seconds. Two and one. Ah, that's right. It's ah. A, the first one we did. Ah. Okay. Time for the H's. Ha, he, fu, he, and ho. H and U turns to F U. Yeah. The Japanese knew exactly how much of a pain learning this alphabet was going to be. <laughs> yep, so HU turns into FU. Fu. But let's start with writing HA. So we go down and kind of a hook. Then we go across. And then down and a hook. HA. Yeah, this, this looks a little, a little weird. Yeah, it's just kind of a straight and then hook and across. Ha. He. We go up and then down. Finish up and down. It it looks like kind of a bodybuilder. Uh, we like add a head here. These are his like giant pecs. His pecs here, his biceps, he's, he's flexing, ah, Mr. Heel. There you go, he. Now for the big one, F-U, I mean, foo. We go kind of a stroke across and maybe like a little hook there. Next, we do something that kind of looks like a, a hook or a five or whatever. We go here and hook and a stroke Fu. My books, my book somehow made this into a picture of Mount Fuji. I'm not sure how to do it, but Fu, F U. You have to learn this. Fu. He. Another easy one. He. I mean, if if this looks like a hat, uh, someone has a hat on his head. He. He. And finally, ho. Again, we go down and get a little hook, like we did initially. Next, we do one across, and a second one across. And then from our top across, we go down, and to kind of a hook. It looks kind of like our first one. Yeah, it looks like the, the first ha, like ha, except we added kind of like a cross at the top. Just for reference. This is ha, this is ho. I know they look very similar, but to make ha, ho, you just add something across like that, like so. So. Time for a quick quick recap. What is this character? That's right, F U Fu. Okay. Time to move on to the M's. Ma Mi Mu Me and Mo. 
So we start with the ma. We do a cross and another across. Down and a loop to loop. It kind of looks like a hoe without this thing and with this going all the way through. So not at all. <laughs> yeah, this is ma. Two across, down and around. Ma. Maria. Oh my goodness, I should definitely refrain from singing on these things. Okay, ma. Me. Me, 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 me. Okay, I'll stop singing. So stroke down, keep it up, and there you go. It looks like kind of an elaborate H, like a celebrity would be signing. Me. Yeah. Me, myself, and I are going to sign this. Me. 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 Moo. So we go across. Surprise, surprise. Down and a curl. Down and up. Kind of like so. It's got like a little goiter right there. And then we're going to finish off with a hook. So we've got this like hook thing with a goiter on it. So across, down and curl, and up, and then a hook. Moo. This goiter should move it. Moo. Meh. So we go down. It looks almost exactly like new. Oh, did, wait, did I say moo? This is actually meh. Meh. So this is meh, it looks almost identical to new, just without the kind of like hooky thing here. It kind of looks like, almost like a pretzel right now. Meh. This, this pretzel's for meh. And meh alone. Meh. It's meh pretzel. Shut up, Carmen. Okay. And finally, mo. We're going to do another cross. And another across. And we're going to make a hook. So it's kind of like a sheet with like two things across it. And make sure this thing starts above the top here. Mo. I want mo fish because like it's a hook underwater and like this is the water. Yeah, you see it. Mo. Mo fish. So say them with me. Ma. Me. Mu, me, and mo. Mind telling me what this character is? If I drew it better? You may have remembered this one. That's right. So, because this one's so squiggly, and in this particular instance, this one is so bad. Okay, time for the Y's. Now, the Y's aren't on all of the vowels. We only have ya, you, and yo. Give you a break. Now you only have to learn three of the Y's. So, we start with ya. We go out and kind of a hook. Kind of like a little antenna thing. And down. Ya. Like, yeah, yeah, I know. We only have three Y's. Yeah, yeah. It kind of looks like a little alien thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You. If we go down. Up and kind of like a hook. Like so. And finally, a little stroke down the middle. You. You ruined my perfect drawing with that line. You. And our last one, yo. We draw a line outwards like so. And down and hook. Yep, it it looks like so many of the others, but with only half thing. It's like, yo, you're stealing my drawing. Yo. Ya, you, yo. Okay. Do you remember this character? Well, I'll draw a little bit better over here. It 
That's right. We are the knights who say me. Me, 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 me. Me. Okay, now for the R's. Now this is interesting because it has an R, but it actually sounds like an L. So it's an, so yeah, you could read it as ra ri ru re ro, but Japanese don't like roll their R's like that. Instead, they use the L sound, so it's la, li, lu, le, lo. Say it like you're using an L. Repeat after me. La, li, lu, le, lo. Okay, now we'll start with the la. We go down in kind of like a little hook thing. Down and bam. It almost looks like a five. La! It's a five. Okay. La. Now for Li. So we kind of go down a little hook thing like this. And this one kind of does like a oops. Does like a stroke all the way down. So whereas E was was this. Li is this. E, Li. Li. Lu. Now we go across, down, up, and a curl. Lu. Okay. Lu. It's got the curl. And I think I screwed it up just a little bit here. This shouldn't be going out. Yeah, yeah I'm just making it look worse. Lou. Let's change this back. Re. Now then. We go down. Cross. Down. Up. And down like so. Ru. Uh, not ru. Re. Okay, re, down, across, down, up, and a little finish curly thing. Re. And finally, ro. Again, down, and curl. It looks almost identical to ru. This is ro. This is ru. Ru, ro. You just remove this thing to get ro or lo. Okay? Gotta keep those straight. Same with me. La, li, lu, le, lo. Okay. Do you remember what this character was? He. I got an interesting looking hat on my head. Now for some of the weird ones. Wa. Yeah, I didn't say there's a W before, but this is kind of a character standing on its own. So what we do is we go down, and just like le before, we go across and down, and out, and we just hook around. So re. Oops. I should probably... Ah, I screwed that one up. So, le looks kind of like this. So basically, re is an inverted form of wa, or wa is an inverted, inverted form of le. I'm getting mixed up already. Okay, wa. No, 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 it's wa. Here, try it again. Okay, now for O. Yeah, that's right. There's another O. So we go across. Surprise, surprise. Down. And up and down, like so. And we're going to write a C right here. O. That's another O. Remember the first one? Stroke. Down and around. And a hook. This is O. 
This is O. O. These are the O's. This guy, he looks like he's jumping Oh. Or, okay, that one backfired, but this is an O nonetheless. O. Oh. And now for our last outlier. N. That's right, there's another N, but it's no vowels, just N. To do that, we go down. And, yep, like so. It kind of looks like an N in English. Just a little slanted. So kind of down and hook like that, like kind of like a finished flush. Mmm. Mmm. That's right. Mmm. Okay. Time for our final little quiz to see if you remember. Remember what this one is? That's right. It's sa. What would happen if I added this? Now what is it? That's right. This is ki. Sa, ki. Sa, ki. Sa, ki. All right. That is all of the hiragana uh, letters. Now, for a few of them, we can add on little things to change the sounding. This this change happens in the H column. The T column, S column, and K column. The H's are actually I'll start with the rest of them because they're the easiest to explain. Almost all of them include just adding these, and it translates a voiced sound into kind of like a different sound. So, ka turns into ga. Okay, so I'll, I'll demonstrate. So this is ka, but once we add on a few things, these little things here, this is ka, this is ga. And ka, it's like an ng sound, nga. Nga, ngi, ngu, ge, go. Just like that. If you add these little things, my teacher calls them the ten ten. Oh, ten ten. Okay, so ka goes into ga. Okay, so with with these little ten ten things, ka turns into or k becomes g. S. So sa becomes za so sa za the t ta or whatever ta t becomes d t d and h's become b so with these little ten ten things it's G, Z, D, B. It's good to keep those in mind because whenever you see them, you just have to remember, you just change the sound just a little bit. The other thing is on the H's only. We can add this little circle thing. So, um, so, ha on this side, and we'll just do a quick review with the ten ten thing here. This isn't ha, this is ba, but we're adding a circle. 
So this is, this isn't pa, this is pa. Okay, so H's, I'll get some more room here. The H with the ten tens becomes B. The H's with the circle here becomes P. So B and P. P. Yeah, just like that. B and P. That's pretty much all of the hiragana characters. I'd highly recommend watching this video a couple times and writing them out. The more you practice, the more you'll get muscle memory and the quicker it'll be to learn. I know right now it seems really hard to learn, but think back to when you were in elementary school and your teacher gave you a multiplication table and told you to memorize the multiplication table because you'd be using it a lot. Well, this is the multiplication table of learning Japanese. So, take this, write it out as many times as you want to or can, and learn it, because this is what you need to remember. This is the multiplication table of Japanese. These little 1010 things are also important. So, as soon as you memorized the table itself, as soon as you've written it out so many times that you're confident, start trying these things. It didn't take me long to pick this up because it's essentially the same sound. Like, it's, it's almost identical the sound, so you just gotta think of what letters sound almost identical to the ones you're changing. And that's how you can easily transcribe these. Now for a couple other things. Greetings. There are three of them. Ohio, which can also be Ohio gozaimasu, Konnichiwa, and Konbanwa. So Ohio and Ohio gozaimasu are said in the morning. Konnichiwa is said in the afternoon. And finally, Konbanwa is said in the evenings. Keep that in mind and think of what time of day it is. If you were to talk to someone at this time of day, which greeting would you use? Would you use the Ohio, Konnichiwa, or Konbanwa? The difference between Ohio and Ohio gozaimasu is mostly a polite thing. Ohio is more of a kind of a casual thing you can say to like friends, family, and people who are kind of lesser than you. Like uh, for example, if you're the boss talking to an employee, you would you could just use Ohio. But if you're the employee talking to the boss, you want to be as polite as possible. So you say Ohio gozaimasu. Same thing with the teacher. The teacher will just say Ohio. You will say Ohio gozaimasu. So you you'd say to your teacher, Ohio gozaimasu sensei. I I know you probably all know the word sensei, so I won't teach you that one. If you don't know it, it's teacher. Ohio gozaimasu sensei. To which your teacher would say, Ohio, your name, San. The San, so, San. You may have heard this in anime and other Japanese people talking. This is kind of like their equivalent to our, like, Mr. or Miss. It's kind of a catch all. So, you just say San. There are other kind of uh, suffixes on names. But for the most security, sun is kind of your catch-all. Watch this video over a couple times. Practice your Japanese multiplication table, which is the alphabet. And hopefully by next week, you'll be rip-roaring and ready to go for our next video. 
Until then, keep practicing.